look at that. I hope this Jeep is equipped with an anchor. The actual bridge is filling up with water as well. I've never seen a river running across the bridge and a massive river running under the bridge. Look at that river down there. Holy mackerel. Don't want to hang around here long, trust me. Otherwise, I'll be toast. Bloody hell. And look what's happening to the road down here. It's disintegrated literally into a river. So right now, it's not an engine you want, it's a paddle. Wow. Look at that. That's what I call a waterfall. Listen to that roar. Oh, boy. That is ridiculous. The power coming from there is absolutely incredible. And the spray is insane. But that is breathtaking. My God. A perfect shower on a very humid, stormy day. Every other corner, there's another waterfall. Any other country would be a national landmark, but here it's, it's almost like a bus stop. The rain is relentless, and right now, I could really do with some comfort food. So I'm heading for a slice of Hawaiian heaven. Everybody's in love with banana bread. It's almost like a staple here in Hawaii. And I'm a big lover. I grew up with it. But they say Sandy's is the best. Can't wait to see what the fuss is about. Sandy's banana bread. Morning. Aloha. Oh, hello. How are you? Very well. Oh, my God, the smell is extraordinary. I am dying to try some banana bread. I can't give it to you. You're so mean. I, what? <laughs> it's not me. It's the idiots I have to work with. But I don't mean to curse. It's just, yeah. unfortunately, they, they <laughs> drop out. <laughs> So just show me how you make it then. Give me something. Sure, sure. If you promise not to yell and swear at me, you can come I in. I promise. Come in the back. Come in the back. <laughs> Excellent. Man, you're, you're a toughie. <laughs> oh, dear. My reputation precedes me. Time for some damage control. Doing what I do best. So we're going to put flour first, and then sugar. Salt. Simple, simple. Right. Look how much bananas go into the mix. All of that in there. All of it. And then we're going to put our hot melted butter right over it. Wow. So we're going to mix it almost like, um, like S's. Like S's. Just, just S's. S's. <laughs> or super. <laughs> Damn, I slipped up there. But my charm offensive seems to be working. Without a measuring cup in sight, they're judging the quantities completely by eye. And it looks great. We have four generations that work in here. My father is Hawaiian Chinese. He and seven generations of his family are original to this spot. Yeah. So the essence of the trade winds, it, it, it festers this incredible melting pot of different origins, different yes. cultures. That's yes. what Hawaii is. Here we go. Oh, man. The smell coming from this oven is amazing. And it's taking me back to my childhood. I can't wait to taste it. Oh, you did good. That is delicious. <laughs> Sorry. That is delicious. Sorry. <laughs> Banana bread that makes you curse. Mm -hmm. It's that good. Yes. Oh, my God. You're I'm a lot nicer in person. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Mission accomplished. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, God Aloha. bless. Uh, delicious. Aloha. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Aloha. Weather. <laughs> I've got just 24 hours left to put my own unique twist on a Hawaiian feast. Tasting that banana bread has got me thinking about my dessert. I could use banana or maybe that poi cream, but there's one more local delicacy to try, breadfruit. It's another canoe plant, brought here centuries ago by exploring Polynesians, but it's a new one on me. Mike is a guardian of the largest breadfruit collection in the world, with over 150 types to choose from. What's so special about the breadfruit, Mike? It can do anything a potato or rice can do. Rice. Complex carbohydrates, a lot of vitamin A, vitamin C, wow. a lot of protein. But is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? It is a fruit. But it can be used as a vegetable? You bet, yeah. Wow. That's what the trade wind's legacy blows in. Food with an identity crisis. <laughs> That's amazing. Break that open with your hands. Really? Yep. Just tear it open? Yes. Bloody hell. Woof. So that's strong inside there. Yep. Huh? 
You can tell the sweetness. Try to grab a little bit like and then um I don't know. Do you know, with the new baby, <laughs> diapers everywhere, I'm just not sure that. Ah. So imagine that in a pie with some chocolate, some honey. Have you been smoking? No, no, <laughs> that's the real deal. <laughs> Yeah, how can we turn this thing into something delicious? I, I challenge you to make something with this breadfruit on your trip here in Hana. So, I think what I'd like to start off with is maybe a firmer one, a less ripe one. OK. Because I've got a couple of ideas, but I'm just not too sure about the super sweet one. Sure, yeah, yeah. i got some right over here. And Thank uh, we you. can pick a couple more. Great. Right. Okay. Breadfruit, let's be honest, not the most appetizing looking fruit stroke vegetable. It's almost like finding the right stage of that breadfruit and you turn it into a, a vegetable or into a dessert, because that was super sweet. Yeah, intriguing. It's definitely got me thinking. This is it, the final cook. And for me, it's time to give back, understanding what these trade winds have done for this incredible island, but more importantly, give back the way the island's given to me, because it's been amazing. Let's hope. I do the foraging, the diving, the hunting, justice, no egg on my face, and give them a meal to remember. Five days ago, Chef Sheldon sent me off on my journey. Now, it's time to show him what I've learned. Sheldon. Hey, what's up, Chef? Hi, right, bud. Good to see you, my man. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, you're alive. Alive. <laughs> Still Barely. kicking. Yeah. Uh, what a week. Uh, bloody brilliant. You got to meet a bunch of my friends and the yes. people of Hana. Now I get it. Yeah. The trade wins, okay. what it means, but more importantly, this bounty of produce. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, you started. I started, which I've been slaving away. I even built a fire already See, for you. You make me feel bad now. Uh, huh? That's try exactly what I'm trying to do. Oh, my God, okay. keep going. What's All that right, called, sir. by the way? No, so we're, we're cooking in, a, in the emu, the fire pit. And is it going to be hot enough? <laughs> you feel it on your balls, don't you? I can feel <laughs> <laughs> now I can, yeah. Huh? Roasted testicles is the least of my problems. Sheldon's clearly in his element. If I don't step up, I'm toast. What's your centerpiece? I'm gonna be cooking ulu. Hulu? Ulu. Oh, breadfruit. Ulu. I forgot, I gotta keep on going back to the layman's term for Yeah, I'm sorry, so. yes. <laughs> Sheldon is cool as a cucumber, but I'm really feeling the heat now, and not just from that fire. What's amazing about this, I'm actually just going to bury it underneath the coals. Oh, really? Yeah, and it'll steam in itself, and we'll cut the skin off, and it'll be beautiful on the inside. And how will you finish that off? First thing I made you do was forage for those uh, sea urchins. Yes. So we're just going to top it off with that. Wow, 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 wow. While Sheldon cracks on with his traditional dish, I let him know how I've decided to put a British spin on Hawaii's finest food. I'm going to use breadfruit as well. Okay. Like an incredible mashed potato for the cheap cuts from the deer, the belly, the neck, the shoulder, and make like a... Don't go crazy now. Look at that face. Almost like a shepherd's pie, except we're not using lamb, we're using deer. All right. You've uh, come to Hana to cook a shepherd's pie. No. It's, it, it, uh. it, it's, it's going to be a different take on the shepherd's <laughs> okay. Imagine a shepherd's pie with the most amazing venison in there. All right, I guess I have to just see it. <laughs> Sheldon's not hot on my pie. That's a worry. I'm running behind, man. Trust me, the taste will blow him away. Ooh, that's hot. Huh? Yeah. Bloody hell. I don't think that needs turning up. I'm going to fry up all the vegetables first okay. and then add the venison to it. That is so hot. For his main course, Sheldon's preparing one of the weirdest fish I've ever seen. What's that fish you've got there? What's that called? This is uh, opelukala. Kimmy got this beautiful shot on it. And you cook it whole like that? So we're going to cook it whole, kind of in its shell, so to say. Right. Uh, it has this crazy leather skin. That's incredible. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Feel how, how rough it is. Yeah, it's... it's almost like a dolphin. <laughs> Holy <laughs> That's hot in there. <laughs> oh, Sheldon. What are you doing to me? So far, I'm the only one cooking. All you've done is stuck it on the fire and laughed at me. I think I've watched one of your shows. You said, work smart, not hard, <laughs> chef. So. Yes. 
you mind just giving that venison a little stir, please? You checking the seasoning on that? It's definitely seasoned, chef. Yes. A little bit too much salt? A touch bit. <laughs> what was that? There's some of that uh, the charcoal kind of popping, telling you to uh, hurry up. <laughs> Dodging flying embers, I crack on with my dessert. I've got big plans for that Hawaiian staple, poi. OK, now possibly for one of the boldest things I've ever attempted. I'm going to make a poi custard. A poi nakata? A poi nakata. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. So I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of a whipped coconut cream. <laughs> I heard Uncle Wade had some words to say to you in the tarot patch. He wasn't doing your part, man. I know. What's that guy like? Honestly, <laughs> my toes are still caked in mud. What a character, though, huh? <laughs> Do you think Wade's going to like this? I mean, there's only one way to, to see. Yes. <laughs> I can assure that it's never been used in this form before. Really? Let's hope he likes it. It's not long until all the guests arrive, and I'm really up against it. You good? Yeah, I'm going to get some of this, uh, this this lobster on the grill. Stop it. You're not cooking, are you? I'm actually cooking, oh, chef. Oh, my lord. So ginger, garlic, uh, black bean. That's a lot of flavor. We're going to tone that down with some coconut milk. Beautiful. And you grill the lobsters, and the lobsters go inside. I've still got to make the topping for my Hawaiian shepherd's pie. Breadfruit is cooked. So you can slice that with the butter. That's beautiful. So. That is now ready for mashing. At last, I can start my final dish. More of Robin's deer. Seared loin steaks glazed with soy sauce and lime. But before I know it, I guess I'll sat down and are waiting. Everyone who's taught me about Hawaiian cuisine is here to taste my take on their food. No pressure, then. Chef, you ready to serve? Yeah, ready to go, boss. Finally, my feast is finished. Shepherd's pie made with venison and breadfruit mash. Seared venison loin with breadfruit gravy. And for dessert, poi panna cotta with kukui nuts. Crush it. <laughs> but Sheldon's also pulled out all the stops. Opelukala fish in seaweed and lemon sauce. And spiny lobster cooked in spicy coconut with breadfruit. Topped with a fern and sea urchin garnish. Yeah, let's go. Aloha. Aloha. Am I pleased to see you guys? <laughs> Let me help you. Oh, Yes. On the back of those incredible trade winds that have helped put this unique cuisine together, I thought I'd bring a bit of a wind from, from Scotland. So this shepherd's pie, this is my take. Uh, enjoy. Please, all of you, dig in. Thank you. Huh? Amazing. Thank you. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> what an amazing insight to unlock all those incredible secrets to understand what true Hawaiian cuisine is all about. Phenomenal, because it's multi-layered and incredible. From what the ocean gives you, to what the mountains deliver on a different level. What do you think is going through their mind right now? Uh, I, I can tell you what, they've never had shepherd pie <laughs> made with <laughs> local venison. And... Yeah. Tell Robert that. Chicken and rice. You know what this meal is music? It's like, holy, holy <laughs> 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 uh, Fingers crossed, one little treat as a parting thank you, really. Um, I took that poi, turned it into a poi cotta. Now, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. But, see, yeah, I've got thick skin, so I can take it. So, please, jump in. I'm just going to wait till the man takes one spoonful over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow. He's digging. He's oh, you got the steak. It's Gordon. You got the steak. Oh, no, ba. Ah. He's going. Delicious. Number one. Yeah. Number one. Ah. Number one. It's all good. Well, at least I like my poina cotta, but now it's the moment of truth. The HANA community leader, Kaui, delivers the verdict. And Carrie, what's the uh, general consensus? The venison was really soft and it's nice taste. And then heads up to Sheldon with, you know, stuff that we are super familiar with, the opelukala. 
the lobster was nice and refreshing, <laughs> but I think overall we all agree that that shepherd's pie was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, comfort food, flavorful, a little bit on the salty side. <laughs> cool it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing day and great feedback from not just experts but proper islanders. That, but for me, a week of a lifetime. Uh, you've been amazing, bud. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, so man. Oh, no, right, on to the next adventure. Good luck, bud. Good, Good to see you, man. God bless. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.